Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to use Audacity to record your computer audio. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. So first of all, for most of you, you will be using your own internal sound card. And that requires, on a PC, going into the Windows settings and looking for sound. It'll show you all of your audio inputs and outputs. But what you'll be looking for here is all sound devices. And in this case, you'll be scrolling all the way down until you find Stereo Mix. Usually Stereo Mix is right at the bottom, and you'll find by default it is not allowed, so you need to click to allow it. Once you've done that, you can then go into Audacity and switch from MME over to Windows Wasapi, which is where you will have available Stereo Mix. When you've selected that, you will be able to hit record and record any audio that your computer plays. That's one way to do it, but my favorite way is to connect together multiple devices. I have a Soundcraft Signature MTK12 desk, and the output of that is plugged into a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. That means in my copy of Audacity, I can switch to MME. I can select my audio input as the analog input from the Focusrite USB. And not only will this record my voice, but also if I decide to play any music from my computer. So for instance, I might play a music bed. And pause it. And as you can see, that is being picked up by the levels meters. Let's do this again. And there you'll see the recording of the music I just played through my computer. And there's a copy of it playing back to me. So that's probably the best way uh, is using multiple audio interfaces to get a clean recording without worrying about using your internal sound card. And the final way is to use a piece of software from a company called VB Cable. They're fantastic and it creates a virtual loopback right inside your computer. If, for instance, you don't want to get the extra equipment or you don't have the ability to use the stereo mix, maybe you're just not having that as a possibility on your sound card, VB Cable will set up something for you on automation that may well work. And for those Mac users, I haven't forgotten you, check out Loopback from a company called Rogue Amoeba that will allow you to do exactly the same thing on Mac. All of the things I've mentioned will be linked in the comments down below and good luck recording your computer audio inside Audacity. Check out my Audacity Ultimate course for beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Music radio creative.com.